All right, hello, hello. We're taking our last look at Ishgard here before we head to a new expansion. Such a great city. Ladies and gentlemen, once I walk through that door and accept that quest, I will officially be in Stormblood. Wait, how do I, how do I RP walk? A few moments later. There we go. Oh yeah. Beyond the Great Wall, Alphano is a man with a great deal on his mind. The question is, how will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Baelsar's wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. She zoomed down those steps, like, two steps at a time. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. Yes, sir. General Oldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Baelsar's wall. And what of the Primal and Omega? There is still no sign of either at this time. He writes that they will begin a more thorough investigation shortly. And, as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Nice. As expected. The Alliance's decision to capture a part of Baelsar's wall is open to interpretation. The wall serves to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. Yeah. Indeed. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are uniquely qualified to serve in this capacity. That is to say, leases, given her personal connection to the Resistance. Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. Of course I am! You know I'd like nothing more! As for who should accompany you on said diplomatic mission, I had a mind to volunteer myself. Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? Thanks. It means a lot knowing you'll be there. I too shall accompany you. Such endeavors are seldom hampered by a surfeit of healers. Good point. Allow me to offer my services as well. We're all going to Alamigo. Here of late, so I'll be coming. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. I trust you have no objections. None, my lady. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands, and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, there are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion, on account of which I mean to stay. It is settled then. 
Let us each see to our preparations. New quest except sound. I like that they have a different one for each expansion. Makes it feel really fresh and new. The time has come for Kosetsu and I to return to our master, to our home. Ah, oh, so they're going to Doma. <laughs> to Taro's little wave. Wait, wait, not just yet. I knew I'd forgotten about something important. Lise, could you come with me? Uh, is Taro gonna make outfits for Lise? Oh yeah. Nice. Taro is the best, making outfits for everybody. Wait, that was silent. Why oh, was the teleport silent? That was weird. Shall I summon someone to escort you to the wall? The fringes. Ooh. Oh, we get a map. That's really cool. Nice visualization of where we are. I remember crossing the border, standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow scions, the warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning. But one that could only be bought. That melt in the background is really cool. This place looks huge. And it begins. Sadly, this isn't the first time these lands have borne witness to such bloodshed. Nearly 100 years ago, the king of Alamigo attempted to expand the nation's territory. His attempts to encroach on Gridanian land escalated into what came to be known as the Autumn War. In the end, with aid from Limsa Ulda, and even Ishgard, Gridania met dealt to Alamigo a crushing defeat. It's hard to believe the Alliance now works to save Alamigo rather than fight against them as they did so long ago. Interesting. So the Alliance and Alamigo have some interesting history. It's behind here. Rocks. Oh yeah, we got it attuned to the Aetherite. Quite an atmosphere, isn't there? Everybody seems to be on pins and needles, though one can hardly blame them given the recent events. Yeah, and the music here does not reflect that at all. It's very calming. Got a map here. This looks like deserts and mountains. Greetings, scions. Wait, is Raubon the, the general here? Huh. Of all the caster in the world, you walk into mine. Oh, Sid. Omega and Shinryu, I think the shinobi, shinobi called it. Anyway, we've been studying their trail of destruction. Hoping it might lead us somewhere, which it has singularly failed to do. 
The dislike Omega fell to Earth in occupied territory, meaning it may already be in Imperial hands. All the more reason to reach out to the Resistance if we want to press on into Guryabanya. We'll need their blessing. Wait. Delta Rune? That sounds like the I'm with you in the dark from El Delta Rune. Don't forget it. I'm with you in the dark. I guess this came first, since it was 2017. I hope you're not thinking about running off to help Master Garland. It's not your duty to solve all of the world's problems, you know. Hey, I was thinking about it. Going and finding Omega sounds cool. These red trees are pretty. This crashed Garlean machine. This big old gator. Doesn't seem to care about me. Man, this turned into a desert real fast. Oh, hey. It's Aether Current. And so forever since I've had to collect these. Four to collect and five from quests. About the same as Heaven War Heaven's Forge. Oh, the wall looks cool at night with the, the red lights. We're here. On the other side of this pass is Ralgar's Reach. So you say, but all I see are rocks. I presume there is some sort of trick to this. Indeed, a glamour. So objects can be glamoured. I guess armor is objects. Wait, what happened? This used to be a wall. Remember the old stories, how the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth with a single blow. Ralga's Reach, a holy place and a fitting home for the Resistance, for the brave and the true, the loyal sons and daughters of Alamigo. Oh, it's the, the statue from the trailer. They were waiting for us there. Men and women whose souls still cried out for what was lost. For what could be ours again. Daddy Walga. Oh, here's the Aether, right? Whoa, this place is cool. Got cannons. Ours is a cause that knows no boundaries. Alamegan and Nada Ananta, we are all welcome in our fight for freedom. Ananta? I don't think I've heard of those people before. Oh, snake people. Is that the same race as that one boss in Coils? Oh, okay, it's not. It's someone we're gonna meet soon. Nice. I don't think I'm ever gonna not think of Deltarune when I hear that quest finished sound effect. You're free to look around Ralker's Reach. In fact, I would encourage you to do so. It'll give you a better grasp of our current circumstances. Free to poke our noses wheresoever we will, eh? I like the sound of that. Yeah, I do too. Let's go talk to random people. Oh, so this must be an Anada. So this is like where they treat all the injured soldiers. Oh, here's Yishtola in Cryo. I'll show you the Aetherite Plaza next. Joke's on you, I've already been there. Wait, is there a secret behind the waterfall? I gotta check. Nope, no secret. 
There's a bunch of people over here. When you've seen one Aetherite, you've seen them all, right? Not quite. This one's an older design, dating back decades to when the Fist of Rauker was still here. The Fist of Rauker? Were it within my power, I'd offer you more assistance. But the resistance is far more fragmented than you realize. The men and women in my care belong to but one of many factions. Simply put, I can only speak for the people of Rolga's Reach. Now, I have every intention of appealing to the others, and I expect many will agree, but it will take time, and I cannot guarantee universal support. Makes sense. We got two quests here. I guess I'll just accept both and see where each leads me. Familiar face forgotten. Mifrid cannot help but wonder if you remember who he is. The name sounds familiar, but I don't remember. Though I reckon you probably don't remember me after all this time, eh? Yeah, not really. He must have been someone from a realm reborn, I think, that we helped. Vaguely remember that. We've got a blue quest over here. Alright, we've got Stormblood Vistas. I guess I'll start with this quest since it's right here. Oh, this music. I'm liking this. Guardians. Easy. You said the forces at Castrum Orions were under the command of Flame General Rabon Alden, did you not? By the Ralgar, the bull of Alamigo himself. I'd never dreamed I'd have a chance to meet the legend. Oh yeah, Rabon is kind of famous. I say we stand shoulder to shoulder with our new allies and engage the Guardians in open warfare. The Resistance must demonstrate that they can hold their own against Imperial Regulars. And with our assistance, I am confident they can do just that. So we're gonna go destroy some random Garlean base somewhere? That sounds Aye. fun. The question is, when and where do we strike? Yeah. I'm glad you are. A lot of back and forth so far. That's alright, because I get to listen to this beautiful music. Oh hey, it's an aether current under the bridge. Snap that real quick. Resistance is already in position, so we have but to wait for our guests to arrive. Alright, let's do this. It's the, the commander from earlier. <laughs> Alright, let's beat this guy up again and teach him a lesson. Adder's flame, steal with the escort, leave the armor to Jaguar. Bugger me, is that General Aldin? Ha ha ha. Oh no, the text is going so fast, I can't read it all. I'm gonna heal Alice a bit. Throw a regen on her. These people get my damage buff? They do. Epic. Oh, what is this? I'll point this into you. Okay, it went straight through you. I'm just gonna run. It's gone. I'm gonna lead this into you again. Is that what made it blow up? Yeah, it looks like it is. Oh, 
Oh, that did a lot of damage. Is that Ravlon? That was awesome. Oh, we got two lasers now. Have them now. Forward, forward. You think you've won, eh? Hehehe. <laughs> then we go together. Uh oh. Self destruct in initiated. Still time to get safety. We must disable it. Alright. Hitting everyone with the damage boost. Hey, Raubon, you want to do that thing again that did a bunch of damage? Alright, we got it. No, no, no! My secret weapon! Sign my ass! I passed harder stools than these piles of scrap. <laughs> You'll pay for this. Mark my words: the next time we meet will be the last. So he's running away again, like a coward. Oh, that's the wrong way. I've got another blue quest over here, though. Let's go pick that up. Aether current as a reward. Oh, well, we get to power one of these things, like in the Praetorium. Different attacks than in the Praetorium. <laughs> I like how the music just continued off from where it was before. Dead. All at once. Triple kill. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna take the, the chocobo keep. See what this place looks like from the skies. Oh, there's a little village here. And there's the big tower. There's a little temple over there. That looks cool. Wonder what's in there. One glass stun? Wait, what's a glass? Oh, water. Yeah, I finished glass of water. I thought you were talking about something in-game. That's why I was confused. But yeah, I refilled it, so I'm on glass number two. Remember the peaks of Girabania, silent watchmen that would stand long after we were gone. We came seeking allies to join us in the fight against the Empire. People who had had enough. Oh, his suffered every possible whole Carlian city over here. Who had been treated like animals, day after day after day. that shows how long they've had control of Alamigo. This one looks huge. Look at these 
mintus looking things. Let's get that eighth right. Lease. Lease hexed. Lease last name drop. Right then. Frightened Coral is his name. Angry Coral and Frightened Coral. Okay, so we've got to help some people now. Well, there's like houses carved into the stone up here. Grave site. Oh, hey, an eth ether current. I was just looking around the town and I happened to stum in stumble into one. Nice. Well, that was quick. Only needed to kill one of those. Oh, there's Frightened Coral. The brother, brother of Angry Coral, was it? Unconscious, but bleh, heavy sacks. Alright, good. Now we can go and turn those two quests in. That we know why you're here, and that even if we can't join you, we, we wish we could. Understandable. So I guess we need to go somewhere else to find people to join us. It was all business as usual. The tributum's too soon, and we were taking it to the Imperials when the Kikirin attacked. It took my brother and mo our money. So we're Kratos being held somewhere at the Ziggurat to the south, which has been taken over by a host of Kikirin bandits. Let's go beat up some bandits. Oh, I've stumbled into like a town here. Oh, so this is that temple looking thing that we saw earlier. Hear that? I think it came from the top of the ziggurat. Oh! Is there evil kicker? Glowing red eyes. Those goggles? This is steep. Oh hey, ether current. Oh gods, the Tributum. The Imperials will be wondering where I am. I have to go. We were given a warning last month for being short. If I don't make it in time, there's no telling what will happen to me and my sister. Are they Imperials? Worse. Skulls. Listen, Lise. Whatever happens, stay hidden and do not intervene. Understood? Skulls. Huh? You there! Halt! You know you shouldn't be here. Explain yourself. Forgive me, sir. I, I came to deliver the tributum. Oh, aye. A likely story. Only a fool would dare to come so late. Or, mayhap, a resistance spy. No! No, you've got it all wrong! I, I was waylaid by bandits! I it's not my fault! I said halt! <gasps> oh. This is a joke. You don't seriously expect us to believe this is a fake. How stupid do you think we are? It is, I swear, on my mother's life. Spare us. You came late, you lied about bandits, and then you tried to cheat the Empire of its due. Think you can kill them all? Including the ones watching from the tower. Even if you did, others would come for him and his family. You'd be condemning them all to a life of hard labor. Assuming they didn't just execute them, that is. Hmm, yeah. But it isn't fair.
Oh, dear. It's your bloody fault we're stuck out here patrolling this God's forsaken wasteland. It's your fault I have to listen to people go on and on about how Alan Egan's can't be trusted. I've worked and toiled harder than any man. I'm a citizen, God's damn it. And what are you? A stupid, stubborn little dog who'd sooner bite the hand that feeds him and pine for the good old days. That's enough! Lord Zenos is expecting our report. Man, I already want to kill these people. I bet the poor bastard can't believe his luck. He gets to go home. We should do the same. Tears me up inside to see our own kinsmen doing the bidding of the Viceroy. But they made their choice. If it comes to it, I'll cut down every last one of them myself. Oh, uh, so the, they're Alamegans who chose to take work for the Empire. All that rubbish I spouted about how I loved my village. But when one of ours was in need, I was cowering here with all the others. I didn't even think to go after Warcrata, but you did. Made me feel, feel like, like the bloody hypocrite I am. If I truly cared for my people, I'd fight for them. So I will, if you'll have me. Yeah, of course. So we did manage to get some people from this village after all. Let's fly back to Rauker's Reach.